So, being a high value man, what does that mean? Um, there's a lot of things floating around the internet. Uh, we're defining high value men as primarily men with, with, with um, making six figures annually and consistently and having other men in their network making six figures as well consistently. So we basically have money and influence. And because of the love of money um, and, or greed, which the love of money, which is a biblical thing, is the root of all evil. The love of money, not money itself, money is a tool. Uh, because of the love of money, um, the corruption that comes with uh, women's idea that they want a man making over $100,000 a year um, as being what they're looking for, the, the, the status or the standards, uh, which is unfortunate because most, uh, maybe like less than 5% of the population makes over $100,000 a year. So you have most women, which makes up most of the population anyway, wanting men that's in the minority of the population um, and even less those making over a hundred thousand dollars a year so you have all these women chasing one man two you know maybe ten whatever it is you know millions of women chasing maybe a hundred thousand men <laughs> it doesn't it, it 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 doesn't it doesn't work that way they're going to be a lot of failures let's put it that way so when it comes to money money is important but it's a tool you just got out of a relationship maybe things went right you know women have been ill-treating you or kind of like blowing you off for years you feel dejected you're in MGTOW you know men going your own way you just got fed up with the whole thing and you you walk away but while walking away, you might also feel devalued, uh, that you're not, worth, you're not worth, worth it, worth a, a woman or a good relationship. And that simply isn't true. You don't have to be making six figures to be considered high value. To me, that's a load of crap. Um, when I was a teenager, a wealthy man, I mean a multi-millionaire, uh, told me <clears throat> that I shouldn't be chasing wealth. What I should be chasing is lifestyle, where you have both time and money. Because he said there are a lot of men out here, they have a lot of money but no time to enjoy their money. So their wives are out here, you know, lonely, you know, sleeping with a pool man or the pool boy, and you, know, you know, all these things are happening because she's just not there. And you know. He, even if he and since he, even if he's not there and he has his wife he has these other women which he can because that's how nature set things up um, that in itself is not fulfilling so because you don't have time to really enjoy it it's like a booty call here or whatever it is so never go after wealth without looking at lifestyle and then in the other extreme you have men who have no money but a lot of time those though that's not lifestyle that's not good those two are not good lifestyles what you want to have is a balance of both time and money where you can en enjoy the money that you work for uh, you're not always hustling and stressing about making money because you're able to make your money consistently you have time to spend with family and if you have the charisma and that 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 whatever it factor and you have that other family on the other side of town by all means you know have it but as long as you have both time and money to live and to spend time with your families and if you have kids well you, you know to, to do whatever you do with your kids um, that is what you're looking for I hope that idea um, of lifestyle resonate with you guys if you're young, in your early 20s, <clears throat> and you're the, the awkward guy, and you know, you're kind of going your own way as well, um, you're in a prime position to adopt the, this idea of lifestyle. Um, go out there, get your education, get your degree, get your trade, get your job, buy your own house, all that stuff. And um, 
create a lifestyle now I will use myself as an example because I, I strongly believe most men have the ability to the ability to achieve this and achieve this type of lifestyle um, I'm 45 years old now I do not make six figures nowhere near six figures however because I manage my time and money um, I consider myself high value because I have time I make money consistently enough money consistently that where I can live within my means and because I manage my time and money and the way my spending habits I can live comfortably where I can volunteer four days a week coaching boxing and I've been doing that for 15 years um, and I enjoy it thoroughly I can't see myself doing any in you know, doing anything else with my time except giving back to the community at least the young men and women uh, in that regard um, my house is completely paid for the house that I live in I have a second house where I collect uh, it's not a lot of money in rent because I have some of my athletes renting there and they're starting off in life so I want to give them a chance to to get a comfortable doing that and maintaining the house and things like that um, so I have some income coming from that you know so I have both time and money and anybody on the planet that's making an average income can achieve that um, because I raise, ki raise kids professionally I can't have a traditional job like like most of you guys have where you go from a nine to five type job or whatever it is you have to go to a workplace um, so I pretty much have a little more time but you know this kind of work that I do is not really for everyone you have to have a temperament a mentality the, the drive the education um, to deal with it obviously the stability and mental fortitude for it um, but if you're capable of doing that by all means you know foster care is a great way to give back to the community as well and get paid in in the process um, or make, make a little money even though the money is for the kids you know by money managing properly you're able to to, to live a very comfortable life um, so I use myself as that example I just bought a boat I had to pull back on some of that the only reason I bought the boat I have a place to keep it for free so I have a little bit of a network but it's not the, the ex extravagant network you guys can achieve some of these things too you don't have to you know you could have your own house and paid off before you turn 35 40 years old I paid mine off uh, I think five years ago um, you can have money in the bank you can have no debt just like me by managing your money and not burning your money up um, frivolously where you only have monthly expenses and any extra you have you can have fun with or save or set aside for a rainy day or prepare set yourself up for uh, retirement um, have some money set aside for retirement when you get older um, which is something I'm doing now um, it's just an idea I know it's attainable for most men making forty to fifty thousand dollars a year. If you're not in that category yet, build yourself up, get that degree, get that you know, get that trade, manage your time, manage your money, and I would consider myself high value. I won't mess with any and every woman because I'm self-contained within myself, um, so I don't have to worry about you know. I'm, I, I'm not desperate for some of the affections and things that's necessary that a lot of men kind of like chase subconsciously not realizing so if you take a look at my celibacy video and maybe my entanglement video um, maybe it will give you a little more insight in what I'm talking about um, with being in this in this case of being high value um, like the video subscribe ask questions if I didn't really answer uh, if I missed something that you may want a little more information on um, and you know of course share it I think it's very important especially with young people share it with them and you all have a good day